Hello everyone and welcome to the class of Architecture for Device to Device Communication. Today in this class of Device to Device Communication, we will discuss about its architecture. So we can have in cellular communication like base station or e -node -V. They can communicate with the EPC and which can communicate with the user equipment with the help of cellular communication technologies. Now with the device to device communication concept, the two uh, user equipments or user equipments can communicate with the help of direct D2 links with one another. This type of direct link between two user equipments is also called as side link. Side link can operate by frequency division or time division duplex. The user equipment on being powered up first. First of all, they have to synchronize with the e-node Vs or, or other user equipments. So the very first step is whenever we switch on or power on the user equipment, it has to synchronize with e-node V or other user equipments. For synchronization, we can have several synchronization signals which are defined in 3GBP release 12. We can have various proxy application as proximity services applications which can be installed in a user equipment and then they may exchange data with the application in a remote server as well. So this is what the procedure whenever a user equipment wants to communicate with its peer user equipment because this is peer to peer communication. So the proxy application in it, it requests for the various expression codes from the server. The UE can also obtain the expression codes from prox proximity functions which are defined in the E node B. So after the retrieval of the expression codes, the UE initiates the discovery procedure because it has to announce its own expression codes. And after the discovery uh, procedure, the user equipment can communicate directly. Like we can see that this is a proxy application server and an e-node B and we can have applications which are installed in a user equipment. So after retrieval of the expression codes, they can communicate directly with one another. In terms of air interface for device to device signal and data transmission, resources are allocated either by e-node B or by the user equipment randomly from pre-configured pool of resources. Device to device communication occurs using open loop communication. It means that D to D receiver does not send any feedback to the transmit because this loop is open in nature. Thank you so much.